hello 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 and welcome back to my channel my name is Charmaine and today I'm going to do a video tutorial on how to make those water bottle label templates okay I am preparing for my daughter's baby shower so I'm getting things done for that and let's get started there are two different sizes you can use for the water bottle templates and I'm going to use the mini water bottles for her baby shower but I'm going to show you how to size both of them and then I'll go ahead and delete the big one and I'll go on with the middle the medium I mean the mini size one okay so first off make sure your um your paper set is on let me see you go to um layout and make sure it's on portrait okay and the margins are set the same you know the, the paper sizes um eight and a half by eleven and your margins are normal which is normal right here okay we're going we go to home first thing you need to go to is insert shapes and you click on a rectangle and it's rectangle right here but it looks like a square but it says rectangle so we're going to push this right here and then we're just gonna make it shape any size any size you want okay and then you go to um the format make sure it's on the format tab which is right here short shape format and then you go to um the side over here and you click in that delete that and push two and then you go to the um, bottom and you push 8.25. Enter. Okay, so this is the um, size you would need for the big, the normal size water bottle. So let's go into late, let's go back to um, insert, shapes, rectangle, and make any size you need, you want to, right here. And then you go to you go over here on the side and then you delete that and then you push in 1.76 then you go to the second the bottom box and you put in 7.6 then you enter and this is the one for the mini water bottle okay so now you know the size the size for the, the, the regular bottle is the height is two and then the, the um width is um the width is 8.25 and for the mini water bottle the height is 1.67 and the width is 7.6 I'm going to delete this one okay I'm going to use this one now you need to go ahead and figure out how you want to design your bottle okay so you go ahead I want to do a uh, um a little shape in between here so I'm going to go ahead and do let me see rectangle insert shape and do the shape right here and I'm just gonna make it to fit Okay, so now that I have my two my two rectangles. This is our back, which is going to be just our border, and this is going to be our front. Okay, so for us to change this back one, this back border, we click on that first, and then we can go to shape field, and we can change the color. You can change it to let me go to shape field, which is right here. And you can push on it; it can it'll turn to purple, or you can put the arrow down. You can find whatever color you want, or you can go and find a picture. Okay, that's pink. I need it's a little bit too dark. But what I'm going for, so let's go. Let's go back and do it a little lighter. This is for my daughter's baby shower. I want to make sure it's a little lighter than that. Let's see. This, but let's get one darker, darker, darker. Let's go over here. It's purple. There we go. Okay, so just play around with it. That's the pink I need. But well, we'll see that. I put the picture up there. Um. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. And I want to go to back to shapes and then I'm going to go to texture and I'm going to go to this gold right here pretty that's wonderful okay so now to get out of this so now we have our background now when you want to start uploading things you have to go into insert okay you can't use the shape format because shape format we're just going to change your whole background but if you want to insert text on top of this you go to insert so let's go to insert and then we go to um pictures and then we go to picture files and I'm going to go ahead and find my the baby that I need. Switch here. Click on her and push insert. Right click her. 
and go to wrap text in front of text. So now we're able to move her around, okay? So now let's size her up. Put it right here in the middle. And that pink is a little still, the pink is still not working for me. Okay, so there she is, the size I need her to be, right in the middle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select some more stuff. This gold is a little bit too dark. Let's see if we can do corrections. And let's go to this color right here. Much better. Let's do another one, corrections. Let's do, I like that gold, that's pretty. Yeah, that's fine, just like that. Okay, let's wanna change that color. That gold was a little bit too dark for me. So now we have that, we can put in whatever you wanna put in here. Let's go to insert and word art. Pick the first one. And I'm going to say, thank you. For coming. I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to change the colors in a minute. Uh, and over here, I'm going to put some more. I'm going to go back to insert. Then we'll go back to word art, the first one. And I'm gonna put over here, delete that, and put Shayla and Ryan's baby shower. You can put so many different things on here. People here, you can Google baby shower nutrition facts. You put that on there. You can put in the recycle logo for the water bottle. You can do all that. But I just want to be it plain and simple and just put the, the um, designs I want to put in there. But you can do all that. You just Google all that stuff and you can find it. Um, you can put frames in here. You can do all kinds of things. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and put these in frames, okay? So let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. I might have to change it after I get the little... Frame. So let's go find a frame here. Um, I'm gonna go to insert pictures, and then I'm going to go to picture files, and I'm going to my frames folder. Desktop. Okay, here's all my frames I can use. I want to think. Let's see which one I want to use. I might end up using the pink frame, of course. I tried this one. Insert. Okay, and I'm gonna. Okay, now I gotta right click and, and wrap text in front of text. Okay, then here's the one. I'm gonna duplicate this, right click, and I'm going to copy and paste. Because I want two of them. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is try to make this these colors the same. It's going to, have to work. I can't, I'm not going to be, that's fine. Okay, so let's try to get these words inside this here. So bring to, um, right click and bring to the front. And let's make this bigger. So this be on one end. And you know, I don't, I don't need two frames. I'll just put that in the frame. And um, I can leave that by itself, I believe. Because the two frames ain't going to look right. Let's try and see. I'm just playing around with this, y'all. Make this font smaller. Uh, 16. Make it a 16 or 14. That's cool right there. Okay, 14. Okay, and then I'm going to make this one. I'm going to put the put the step here. Make this the same size. Let me just cut, take this off, delete that, and just copy and paste this because I already the size that I need. Okay, so I'm going to.
I'm going to copy, paste. We had the same size. Put it right here. Bring this back up here. Okay, that looks good right there. Then I'm going to put this 14. Bring to the front, right click and bring bring to the front. Okay, put it in here. And there you have it. Thank you for coming. So you just push um shift and you select all your pieces so you can group it together. Okay, make sure I got the background. Background, the baby the baby, the background. So everything should be, and then go ahead and right click and then you push group. I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it now. Copy, paste, copy, paste. Okay. Let's see how many get in this page. One more. Copy, paste, and there we have it. Okay, let's go to page pre um page preview and see how there we have. Oh, we can do we can do a couple more. Okay, cool. So cancel. We do another one. Come on. Paste. Okay, put it down here. And let's see if we can do another. Nope. That's all, I think that's it. Oh, we can probably put another one in here. Copy, paste, maybe not, might not work. We could probably move this up some. Oh. I do want to have enough space so I can be able to cut. I'm going to cut these out with my scissors. I mean, if you have a Cricut or Cameo, you can do that that way, but I'm just going to, it's so easy to cut this out with my scissors. And plus, Cricut don't. It's not that you can't put this much on Cricut, so I'm going to just use my scissors or my, or my cutter. I have a cutter, like a paper cutter. So let's go ahead and go to print. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. So I'm going to just need two sheets of these, two pages of these. So I'm going to go to my printer, and I'm going to go ahead and push 7220. I'm going to go ahead and put my sticker paper in the printer. I'm going to go ahead and print it out, and I'll be back with the results. Hello. I'm back with the, resu I'm back with the results. Here are the results from the water bottle label okay it come out beautiful this is so pretty and let me let, let you know that um the printer i'm using is a epson 7720 and i have pigment ink in it it's not regular ink it's pigment ink and i'm using this paper i'm using this paper it is um glossy full sheet adhesive paper they didn't have by 11 and it is waterproof okay and it's white so I got this from Amazon. I'll leave a link below. I love this paper. Um, before I didn't really like the paper because it was kind of um, it was like bleed a little bit, but it worked out fine for this one. This um project right here, it worked out great. So I put my printer on glossy paper, photo paper, and this is how it came out. Beautiful. All right. Until next. This is this is our water bottle, and it's beautiful. It matches our little centerpieces that I have over there that I showed you in the beginning of the video. Let me show you. Okay, here's one of the centerpieces that I'm completed. Okay, I have completed that one. I'm still working on some more over here. And then I got my water bottle done. So please check out my website, charminggalboutique.com. If you don't want to design these, I'll design them for you. Check out my Etsy page, Charming Gal Boutique, the number two. Okay. And also like and subscribe my um please like and subscribe to my page and click that red bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Check out my Facebook group, Brown Girls Craft with Cricut. And also, I have another group called Sublimation Blanks and Creations. When I sell my blanks, my sublimation blanks, and we also do a lot of creations on that, sublimation creations on that page. But before I can approve you, please answer all the questions. Before I approve you, if you don't answer questions, I will not approve you. 
Also, follow me on Pinterest and Instagram, Miss Charming Gal. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a blessed day.